started, it is, uh, I worked in Bersham Colliery for a, a company in 19, 1949, and uh, I joined the National Coal Board in 1950. As a steel director, and manufacturing uh, steel work and all that, uh, and climbing in area workshops, and we used to travel around the collieries in North Wales from Point of Air, Lifton Colliery, and all the collieries in North Wales, modernising all all the and maintenance and all that, uh, all that kind of work. And uh, Bernie, could I ask you when you started working in the mine industry? 1953. And uh, what was your role in the mining industry? Uh, front stripper. A front stripper. Right, and what, what did that involve? Uh, I was making the roads, you know, follow the face up like. And did you do that all throughout your career with the...? Uh, I was on the call as well. Yeah. Mixing, you know, all the bends and the short and send you somewhere else, like, you know. That was all the face, mostly, like that. And how many years did you do that for? Uh, 19... Till I went from there, I went to work in the in climbing for 60 years. And then the climbing closed it down so much, and we all come to Bersham and Abbott, different places, you know. Mm -hmm. So I, just, you know, I must have been in Bersham 30 years, like. But, uh, well, so, so they closed, like, you know. Mm -hmm. That's great. First started in the mining industry? Uh, I came in in the end. In the year. Was I was active in the school. Yes. And stayed into the, stayed into the, into the pit. She left school and went straight into the, the pit. Into, into half the colliery. Uh, and half the colliery. Worked on the haulage for uh, two or three years. Then worked. Then found a way to get onto the coal face. And got trained and worked on the coal face all my life. And when did you finish with the industry? I finished when half the colliery closed. No. When half the colliery closed. I went to BICC for 11 years mm -hmm. and then Bersham was taking people on. So I went back to Bersham. Cool. And did you? I stopped there till I finished. And where did you work when at Bersham? Well, it was told where to go. Yes. Like shoveling different co pieces of coal. You didn't work in the same place every day. Right. You travelled about. Did you attend the conveyors? Conveyor no, belts? No. On, on the coal face. On, on the, the coal face. Yeah. And a shovel in my hand most of the day. <laughs> well, so, so you've all had very different jobs really in the mining industry. Yeah. Um, did you uh, was that did you join straight from school to the industry? No, 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 no. I was uh, I, I worked uh, in in the brickyard first when I left one of fourteen. And then when the war broke out, I left the brickyard because the money was very poor. And I went to work in the munition, munition factories during the war. Mm -hmm. I worked in uh, Markwheel. And then I went from Markwheel, I went up to uh, Retford in, in, um, in Nottingham. Uh, same kind of work on munitions factories during the war. And then I went down to, to South Wales, down to Pontypool. And from there, I was called up into the forces. And I served in the forces for five, five and a half years or so. And then when I came out of the forces, I joined, uh, went into the coal board. Uh, and that's, that's where I started my career in the mining. So how old were you when you first started? When? When I started yes, in, in the coal board? Yes. The, uh, 25, 25 year old. Yeah, and uh, from there on I was there until 
I retired in 1980, 1985 when I finished in Bersham Colliery. All the years that we, I worked was in the, uh, in the workshops, uh, area workshops in Simon. And then when they closed, I went to Cresswood. And from Cresswood, I came to Bersham. And that's where I finished off in Bersham. Uh, what was your job when you finished? Uh, well, we were all kinds of work, maintenance and uh, Fabrication of steel work and belts and working in the shaft. Did all the pulleys, headgear pulleys, change them as well. And all, all that type of work, yeah. Conveyor belts. And we put um, a blower, blower plant in Bersham Colliery up the shaft. For blowing the coal up the shaft as well. That's quite an unusual feature, yeah, isn't yes, it? Yeah, yeah. And we did all, all kinds of work of that, and that type of work, right, you know. Yes. Uh, so did, did you, um, what was it like working in the shaft? Well, well it, it was a bit scary at the beginning, like, you know, but you got used to it, like, and I, yeah. I, yes, I used to wear, wear your safety harness yes. and all that, like, on top of the cages. Yes. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yes, aye. and of course I worked up upstairs as well on the, on the headgears and all that, changing the pulleys, put all the headgear pulley uh, structure up or changing the pulleys as all well, what they call the, the cut heads used yes. to call them. Yeah, yeah, and we used to do all the fabrication of that in the workshop as well, did all the steel work as well, you good, know. Good yeah. head for heights. Yes, yes, yeah. And I, I remember when we were in Bersham here and the safety officer he used to call me in uh, because I wouldn't wear my safety harness and he said, well you should, wear, you should wear that in case you had a bit of a fall or anything like that. I said, no I can't, I couldn't wear the safety harness, I would depend on my own safety because if you had a safety harness on you'd forget about it and you'd go and you'd be pulling yourself off kind of thing. So I always depended on my own safety and I never used to wear a safety harness on the head gears. Yeah. Uh, so that's quite, uh, quite unusual. Yeah, yeah, unusual. Yeah, 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 yeah. Of course, <laughs> I was told off about it. <laughs> <laughs> what was it once? <laughs> yeah, yes, yeah. it was. Oh. Yeah, so, oh. yeah. Bernie, could I ask you what your work was like underground? And the first ripping it was, it started off on, on the hollies, yes. it was 25 then, like, I worked in Brubble Steelers for five years. And then uh, a couple of days there, I had to go to Abbey, mm -hmm. the Abbey for three years. And uh, when I come back, I went back to Steelworks, but I could take some weekends working, so I come to Pret like my dad worked with Pret, so my dad worked here. And, uh, I come down here, got a job with the Pretling. That's what it was ever since. And the Pretling, well, he's got a few jobs, as you yeah. said. You, you called to do different jobs, you know. Yes. There's other cutters and things like that, but not permanent. It was only on and round again. Right. But to be on it today, he wouldn't be on it for another week or two. But the so you got moved was, round to different jobs? Yeah, but yeah. the Pretling was. Yeah. Our co cool face, saw we were already, yeah. like, you know. So how did you go about ripping in the roadways and so on? Well, what do you mean? How, 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 how was it from? done? Yeah. Well, they, they take the coal uh, from the uh, they have what they call stables. That's where the machine would go into the stable. Yeah. And then they cut back the other way, see? Yeah. Well, we were on the roads because as they took the coal in, it was going higher, wasn't it? Yes. So we used to have to rip his sides down and uh, whatever stone was left yeah. and then we put the girders and things up to make consider the road like that. Mm -hmm. That's how I did really after yeah. so the same thing like you know. Did you do any drilling? Oh I did a lot of drilling I worked after drilling to break it down like you know. Yeah. And uh so the dads and all deep drilling, you know. What type of drills did you use? Uh 
One time. Sometimes. Yes. All depends where you were working. You were shot in different places or you would go further in. And so how did you tell the people in by that the tubs were on the way? You had a, you had a waiter pull and that would give a signal, signal the bell. Three for in, two for out, and want to stop. And did they signal back to let you know they'd received the signal? No. No. No, no. You did recognise their signal when they had to use it. And they didn't recognise yours. Well, that's... And um, so what sort of things did you... Was it empty tubs you sent in? Yes. 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 And what came back? Was it coal that came back? And coal. The... Coal came back. Yes. Uh, all depends on what shift you're on. If you're on a, an afternoon shift, the, the rock may, may come back because they, they couldn't sell, they couldn't get rid of the coal and the rock at the no, same time. No, It can have at different times. And did you sometimes send materials in? Yes. Yeah. Props and props, girders. Oh, is tim it timbers and timbers? timbers. Yeah. yeah. And um, af after you did the haulage work, what did you do? Uh, what, 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 did, what was the next job you did? Oh, well, let me get this in. Find the place on the coal face. And it was on the coal face after for a long, long while. Have you finished yet? And what was it like on the coal face? What, what was that work like? Hard work. Shove, shove it in all, shove in the coal, oh, six or seven ton every day. And, and what, um, what uh, system did they use to, was it long wall? Was it, was it, or was it, um, did you have a, a sort of a, uh, a stint to at do it? At the Conway belt, you were shoving your coal into the Conway belt and that would load into tubs. Right. And tubs would hold. A ton of coal. Yeah. And they have three tubs at a time fastened to a chain to take out. And did you mark your tubs that were going out, the, the tubs that you filled? Did you? Uh, no. no. Somebody else marked them. Yes. Somebody was working on the haulage. And then did they weigh them on the surface to see how much you'd produced? Yes. And did your pay depend on how many tubs you turned out each day? Uh, I think you keep account of them, but uh, yeah, yeah. And what was it like? Um, how did you fetch the coal down at that time? You drill, drill holes in it. Yes. Three, four, and high foot holes. You have lots of holes in the, in the coal face, and you had the fire lighter would come in to put. Explosives in yes. the hole and fire them, and then you, you do all the shoveling after. So it's hard graft then, shoveling up. hard graft. Yes. And you never finish until the shoveling was finished. <laughs> and you, you run, run home and then back same next day. Yeah. And did you have to put supports in to support the roof while. Yes. 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 W wooden supports at a time. Then they press the metal in later on. And um, what about, uh, did they have baths when you first started? Yes. Oh, so yes. And, uh, and what time in the morning did you start? Uh, was it morning shift you did? Six o'clock in the morning. Six in the morning. Yeah. The bus came to Benkai at five o'clock to take you down to the colliery. And then you changed and you went down the pit. Well, you, all the workers were down the pit by six. And how long did it take you to get into the face? Oh. Twenty minutes. Yeah. Twenty minutes walk, and a, and a hard walk. Yes. Was that was there a, a, a slope? Was there a? Sometimes it was a slope. Sometimes it was flat. Yes. And how, how long were you on the face for each day? 
Well, you had the six, six yard, seven yard, set a quarter finish, and you never finish until you, you shovel it all. Right. So it depend so how you quickly you got job done. You never looked as you watch. No. <laughs> Uh, did, who, who, did you have deputies on the face telling you what to do? Yes, the deputies would come there. Well, the deputies would um, put the explosives in the, in the face and fire it. And then you he wouldn't see him after. Oh. <laughs> so left you to it. <laughs> yeah, this is your job after to get the job done and finished. So, um, did hard enough, it enjoyable. You enjoyed it? Yeah. You meet lots of good friends. Everybody, everybody was your friend. There's no enemies. Well, the enemy was the fireman. Yeah. <laughs> 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 and did you ever, did you keep working in the industry when the mechanisation came in, when the power loaders came in? Yes. Right. I was in the pit for 19 and a half years, then I went out for 11, and I came back, went back to the pit after. And I was there, I can't remember the names and times of the year. I was there till it closed. So you saw quite a lot of changes yes. in, your, in the time yes. underground. Yeah. Worked with all the, all the things holding the roof, what do you call it? Dowdy props. The, and the chocks. The chocks. The chocks. Yeah. The chocks. Yeah. <coughs> then, then, when they started there, it was a wooden prop. Then the doughties came in after. Yeah. And then the chocks. And did that make the job lighter for you? Yes. When the mechanisation. Yes. The hardest thing was when the, the, the wooden props. <laughs> You've seen some changes then. I've seen a few changes. Uh, yeah. Aye. So, do you miss the mining industry? Oh, yes, definitely. I enjoyed this. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, Kate hell about this, but uh, we oh, enjoyed this. Yeah. yeah. Good friends and, yeah, very good. Yeah. Do, yeah. do you think young people today have got any appreciation of just how hard it was? Yeah. yeah. No. Yeah. No, they haven't. Yeah. No. I think a time will come eventually, like that, it will all come back. In fact, they are on about boring now, aren't they, down in, in the hopes and all down there. See what's, what it is, coal, gas and yeah. whatever. Well, in this area, there's still lots of coal in, in Havid, where Havid College was. Yes. Still around the coal there. Yeah, oh, uh, well, there's coal everywhere under the ground yeah. here, everywhere. Tons and tons of it. Yeah. One seam was six foot thick. Another seam was two foot nine. Mm. Goodness me. So, what was it like working in a two foot nine face? It was hard going. You're on your knees, mo all, all shift. Yes. And the cutters had to cut in the dirt to, to, get, to be a, a little bit of height. Yeah. And did you used to wear knee pads? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Did you ever used to put anything on your knees to stop them getting worn down with the... Oh yes. <laughs> it, it, it patches from home, yeah. strong material, which is stuck, st stuck to your knees. Yeah. I've heard that some pits used to put surgical spirit on the skin, you know, to make the skin hard over uh, your knees, because yeah, yeah. otherwise you've got some cuts. Used, some used to, yeah. yes. Yeah. I never did. No. But some used to do. Did you get any injuries when you worked underground at all? Yes, got hurt a few times. But uh, I finished with it. I finished up with a broken leg. But I had that finger. Oh, you can see the mark has been opened from there. The tub on, tub, tub of coal on always. I, I, I slipped. I slipped over. Hand went out. Goodness me. Tub of coal on always. Goodness. And it's opened from there. All the way to. Yeah. That was nasty. So were you off for a while with that? Uh, for about six weeks. Yeah. And was that when you first started in industry? Or? Early, early on. Yeah. Yeah. And you, 
your hands all right now, is it? You're not yes, I've rolled some of it. Yeah. That's wonderful, isn't it? Yeah. After all that time. That's yeah, and it's always open from there. Yeah. And what about you, Dennis? Uh, oh, I had a few, few injuries, <laughs> broken yeah. collarbone, broken leg, arm, broke my coccyx. That's nasty. Fell on the back of my spine and yeah. quite a few oh, accidents really. But got over them like that. Yeah. Fingers are not very good. Oh, can't straighten them. Yeah. But um, you never used to worry. So it leaves its mark, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah, it leaves <laughs> you to get on with it. Yeah. Oh, well, there's a few tales you can tell, but... Uh, and you, as you see, you wouldn't wipe on the food. No, no, you wouldn't. Have, have you got any funny... So, have you got any amusing or funny stories? Yes, I've got a lot of amusing. Perhaps leave, leave <laughs> us on a bright note. Working in the shaft, doing some scaffolding in the shaft. And um, a fellow at the pavel used to handle all the scaffold poles down. And this one up above we used to show, just a minute, can't get hold of it. And the one in the bottom, he was trying to reach it off and he had his penis out and he peed down the <laughs> pipe and straight onto his head. <laughs> oh, he oh, didn't he? We used to have a lot of fun as well as our work, wasn't it? Yes. Yeah. Uh, what about you, Emlyn? Have you got yeah. a, a funny story to... I have a snap. Yeah. You were in a snapping time, we used to catch the mice. <laughs> <laughs> every day, every day you'd have a laugh. <coughs> you'd have, have a laugh over something, every yeah. day. We used to catch mice down the pits. <laughs> um, we used to tie a piece of bread on one side of a elastic. We used to bring a bit of elastic down with you. And a piece of elastic on the other, a piece of bread on the other side, and two mice would be fighting for the blood. <laughs> Yes, and when we were on the surface, I remember. Seen that very often. Yeah, on the surface, uh, in the shops, the mice, and they used to catch them and paint them different colours. That's mine. <laughs> uh, that one's mine. <laughs> <laughs> you have races. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, what a lovely story. Yeah, well. yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm good to stop now. Yeah. Uh, I think you've both done really well. That's been quite a long yeah, interview. It's been smashing. Good. Thank you very much, both of you. For could go on for all, all yeah, day. Yeah. I got a lot of tales I could tell. Yeah. But that was uh, that was wonderful. I'm Paul, that's what you're telling. Yeah. I, yeah. That was wonderful. I think you've both done really well. Yeah. So yeah, very good. Very good. Lots of memories. But I'm very poor person. The memories on it. Yeah. That's all right. No, you've done both done really well, haven't they? Oh, so, and yeah. Bernie too. Yeah. Uh, it's been, uh, it's I've been, been down lovely. to South Wales to the Big Pitch as well. I've been interviewed by. Um, um, oh, Kerry. Yeah, yeah, Kerry came to my house and he and he yeah. put my uh, news in that in the Glow magazine as yes. well. Yeah, yes. Kerry's oh, a professional, he's, so he's oh, uh, great. he's, he's, great. Uh, he's, uh, he's uh, yeah. very experienced in and um, Catherine, Catherine as well. Catherine, she left now, isn't she? All right, didn't yeah. know that. Yeah, Calvin's left.